So we just finished the competition. I, I win, but there's one in October, so this is where my origin story begins as the obese silverback. And they're not ready. The world's not ready. We're changing, and we're gonna all document this starting now. To be a silverback, let's get it. Look at this guy. Hey, some ape action right here. All right, um, who are you? Uh, I'm Angel Palaya, and I'm 23 years old. Well, turning 24 next month, but yeah. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Um, when did you start lifting? Um, so, I, I wanna say, kinda weird, because I did two years ago, but I wasn't really lifting, I was kind of a novice. And so, I wanna say eight months since starting at LM Fitness. Why did you start lifting? I used to be a really big guy. Like I was, so I'm six five, and I used to be 360, 365 pounds, which is pretty big because I'm like two seventy right now. And I just hated being fat. Like being obese just sucked. Like I wasn't as confident. You know, I was there wasn't a like person with the ladies. You know, like I was just in my house playing League of Legends eight hours a day eating anything out of the fridge like in case I was bored or something and I realized that I wanted to change that and so I did and uh, as I was losing weight I was kind of seeing that I had no muscles and I, I met this guy named Matt Saravia who who had who has like the same height as me and like his body composition like I was like I want to get to that point you know and like look as good as he is you know and so I've been pushing myself with lifting weights. Or even better, right? Even better, yeah, exactly. But it's like, when I saw Matt, it was like seeing myself in the mirror kind of, because I was like, dude, this guy looks like kind of similar to me, you know? So it was inspirational seeing that. Dope, dope. What's your goals? Um, my goal is, I mean, I want to shoot for the moon and go for, you know, like potentially compete for like classic men's physique. You know, I, I just recently saw Pump and Iron and like seeing how that whole industry and that whole like, comp like competitiveness works is like kind of excited me. But uh, I just want to mainly go for good health, you know, just looking good all the time, you know, and keeping my mental health in check too. Good, good. Um, how has your journey been so far? Dude, my journey has been a doozy. I used to go to LA Fitness two years ago and I would do cardio for like 30 minutes and I would lift probably like 15, like, and I would do full body workouts. Like I'd go do some bicep curls and then I'd move on to the next machine and I'd do some like leg curls kind of, like it, I would just hit every body part because I thought that's how you worked out. Um, up until it changed here, you know? Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. So are you ready for October 15th? That's the new due date. Yeah, October 15th is gonna be pretty wild. Uh, let me see, it's July, August, September, October. So it's kind of four months away. Um, I'm kind of gonna go ahead and, I'm, I don't know if I'll get first place, you know, but I do want to make some progress and potentially hit top three, hopefully, or top two. Um, but yeah, I got a lot of work to do still, you know? Where do you see yourself in a year? In a year from now? Uh, I, I mean, I've always, I've always wanted to be fit, you know, and I think a year from now, seeing my progress, you know, for eight months, I think a year from now would be pretty great if I was like shredded with like a, like a six pack or like I had big arms or, you know, I, I just want to hope that, I really hope that I'm symmetrical and I look well in my physique, but uh, I, I mainly just want to be happy. Gotcha, gotcha. Any last words? Uh, yeah. Yeah, um, some last words I would say probably is probably just to my future self if he's watching this. You know, it's been a wild ride three years into lifting weights and being uh, into fitness, but hopefully it all works out and pays off where I'm at. My future self is at watching this. So yeah. How you feeling?
15, let's go. Let's go, some light work, baby. Come on, boy, stop playing with me. All right, dude, I don't know how much you do on this, bro. Woo! Some light work. Let's go, come on. Cool, cool. Alright. So so what's your name and how old are you? What's up? I'm Frankie Bravo and I am 25 years old. Alright. And when and why did you start lifting? I started lifting when I was in high school. Honestly you guys are gonna laugh, but I saw Jersey Shore and I saw people, you know, that were fit, living a good lifestyle. And being a little chubby kid, I felt like man, I wanna get to that level one day. Alright, and so so what's your goal? My goal one day, I mean, is to honestly to become an IFBB pro. I don't know about the whole Olympia stage, but I at least want to get my pro card. That's like a, the bare minimum of my goals, I would say. All right, all right, yeah. all right. So, so, so tell me, how, how's your journey been? Uh, my journey's been good. It's, it's been up and down. I've learned a lot about myself, uh, you know, mentally and physically. Uh, I learned that you have to be consistent and hold yourself accountable a lot, or else your results are just going to go away. So now that this is my second time back in the gym, we... we Recreating my physique, I want to recreate it in a way where I can sustain it and then carry that onto my lifestyle. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah. So, so Byron just announced that October 15th is going to be the next competition. So we had the one in, in April, March, March 15th we had it. Yeah. So, how do you think you're going to take that crown? You think you're going to take October 15th from everybody or what? I, I honestly will say if if my if my cards are aligned and I, I stay consistent. You know, I'm, I'm a, you know, I'll be up there, you know. I don't really want to, you know, make all these crazy, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. I like to more so show up with my work and show up on show day. That's that's how I roll. Okay, all right. Yeah. So you're more of like a doer and everything, you know? Absolutely, because I've seen many people, they talk and talk and talk and then they don't win. I don't like that look. All know? right, all right. You know? So aside from the competition, where do you see yourself in a year from now? Uh, a year from now, I definitely see myself uh, expanding with personal training, my own personal brand, um, you know, building it up from this gym. And I would say just educating, you know, my friends, other people with my social media, you know, that's kind of a big thing I want to do. That's just a small part of it. That's the fitness side, but um, that's about it. Uh, for sure. All right. Yeah. Well, thank you, Frankie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Let's, go. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go. It's Franco Danko over here. Go! You got this, come on, bro. You got it, come on. Easy, it's easy money. Woo! Ugh. Shit. Hey! Can you see how many I can do? Can you lift off or not? Um, no. Nah, but just keep eye out. Dude, this man's hitting two plates, bro. Let's fucking go. Let's go, Frankie! Let's go. You got this, dude. Come on. Oh my god, dude. You're hitting three. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Damn. Dude, you're good, man. You're good. You hit three solid ones, bro. Dude, you're hitting it like good, dude. You're hitting it really good. Like, I'll show you this footage. Bro, like, when I get cold, I'll turn. I feel you. Dude. Hell yeah. Let's go, Franco. Damn, look at them cash, bro. First. Let's get it. How much you shooting for, bro? No, you can't hear me. How was that? 20 yeah. reps? Yeah. That was what's up, bro. Woo! This is another day at LM Fitness. Come on. Let's go, let's go. One. Two. Three. Jesus oh. Christ, this man's crazy. 
14. Let's go. 15. Let's go. 15. Come on, peanut weight. Let's go. Listen. Three more. Go. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Come on. Let's go, Jill. Let's go, one more, one more, one more, one more. Let's get it. So you got this? Yes, yeah, sir. Uh, cheeked up. I'm cheeked up today. You better do this. Lower. 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 Like right at Amelia after. <laughs> I'm like dead from that set, dude. But I think we got one more too. Jesus. Uh, fuck. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go, Franco. Look at it. It's the, the cat powers. Ooh, ooh. It's the meow meows. Some meow meow. Drift up. Woo. Let's go. Let's go, bro. You're a beast. Bro, I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to do three plates. You don't know you're gonna do three plates? Oh Same, bro. But hey, if I'm not crawling, it ain't working, right? With the gato shirt. What does your shirt say, bro? Brooklyn. Brooklyn with That's the cat. Yeah? Oh, I was like, bro, <laughs> that sounded so believable. This guy just went at it. He just flew in there. Let's go, dude. Let's go, Gio. Let's go, Gio. No, it's 315. Or no, yeah, 275 because there's no bar weight. Where's their bar weight? Let's go. Is there bar weight? No. Yeah, it actually might be 275. How was that? So, uh, tell me, what's your name? Byron, that is. All right, Byron, and who are you? Why am I interviewing you right now? Wow, who am I? That's a, that's uh, a good question, right? Well, as you can see, uh, you've been filming at this facility, this gym, I'm actually the new owner. Uh, and our facility name is Allen Fitness Center. Uh, what it really stands for is we have a clothing brand that we started about a year ago with, you know, a couple of you guys. Um, it stands for Linear Meaner, uh, which is a fitness journey um, just to elevate, you know, your lifestyle. And it turned out to be that we own a gym in the greatest city in the world now, and we're creating something special. That's just really what it is. And how was the journey getting there, man? Uh, the fitness journey, it was just... I think after 2017, having a rough patch in my life, um, went through a divorce and, you know, there's a lot of mental changes and felt like I was going backwards in life, but I remember saying one thing, I, I just want to get in shape. How? I don't know. How long is it going to take? No clue, but it's going to happen. And I think that just knowing the fact that I was going to get there, regardless of the time frame, it, it just creates different paths. Uh, your journey becomes more than just a journey, it becomes a lifestyle and and the moment you allow yourself to uh, doors to open opportunities, 
everything's just going a different direction. Um, it's been about pushing every single day. And when you push yourself every single day, you're not afraid of the things you will never do, like, you know, going for the nine to five to start a business or doing things that people might think you're crazy. Uh, how to actually learn to, you know, look at your best, perform at your best and every single thing that you do. So never stop. It's not stopping. We're not trying to stop. It's just like the clock, we gotta keep moving in. And the only way we like you either go up or down, or we like to only go up, so. Yeah, all right, so one of my few last questions got to be, uh, you know, whenever you set a goal and reaching that goal, it's tough and you fight some battles. So from the point where Byron divorced Byron to the point where Byron, the owner of LM Fitness Center and Leaner and, e Leaner and Meaner Clothing, what battle, like what was the battle that you remember that you learned a lot from? I think the biggest battle is like fighting, fighting my ego, like, um, I, I started to analyze what were the things that led me to my biggest mistakes in my life. Obviously, were my decisions, right? Why did this happen? Why did this go wrong? I'm like, well, that's because I was attracted to that type of lifestyle, those type of decisions, those type of people, those type of energy. So when I realized what's been wrong with me, just eliminating the facts could have been friends, habits, mindsets. Uh, unfortunately, as human beings, we all think, you, we're always holding on to an ego somehow. It never really goes away. It's just one thing triggers it, but you know, we do our way. Or I do my best to keep it away. Uh, but letting go of our egos, meaning like we are not worth anything in the sense like we think we're worth something, but in reality, who are we to claim things? We're nobody, you know? So we earn our, our name, our respect hard work, dedication. So the moment I understand what I had to let go of, that was possibly the hardest thing. To think I was cool, I had to please friends, families, I deserve something, in reality, I don't. You know, it's all about creating something unique and different and, and bring value, bring value. I'm not, not looking for satisfaction or short-term happiness, but it's living a bigger purpose, you know? So yeah. that's been the toughest part to understand. So my last question has to be, uh, you know, just being under your wing and working under you for almost a year now. Uh, you've told me and other members about this mentality. Can you tell me more about it? Oh, uh, that ego mentality? Yeah. Yeah, with the ego mentality, it's uh, think about it. Why is the ego the king of the skies, right? No one can fly like the ego. Well, two, two things. Um, uh, the ego is not the fastest it ain't the strongest and it's not the biggest, but it's the attitude that it's not afraid of keep going to higher altitudes. It trains itself and it keeps working on those wings and being babies, right? The biggest test that you can see on the ego, this is, goes back to our story. When the storm comes, right? When the storm is coming, all the little birds fly away. All the little birds except one, the ego. Or the ego that it does, it goes inside the storm because it knows when it opens its wings, those wings are gonna shoot them right up. The storm will take them right up above the storm, flying higher than anybody else. Meaning it, you know, a lot majority of people, the storm are troubles. We run away from the troubles. But what happens if you have the guts to go inside your problems? How guess how you're gonna come up? It's really you're gonna go down, or that storm, those problems are gonna take you and elevate you to a whole new level. Because once you beat that, no one, and I say no one and fly like you that's right. the ego mentality yeah, and man. we preach it and we live it every single day no egos allowed it's all about the attitude when you're not afraid anything is possible all right all right i love it man i love that i love that answer that answer was awesome all right i said that was the last question but i'm gonna say one last one okay. october 15th is coming up are you gonna be part of it Yes, this time I am. Uh, so we created that, that, uh, the March 15th competition back in January. Um, but what really happened is, yeah, everybody put in the work to look at the best as possible. But the date of the competition, it was the day that I announced that I was the new owner of the, of the gym. So I, I couldn't have a highlight <laughs> for myself. So it was about, you know, you guys, the 11 of you. But October 15th, no mercy. It's... It's real, it's happening. You gotta look good, everyone's gotta look at their best. If you're skinny, you gotta put on 10 pounds, 10 pounds on just look massive, strong, 
lean cut, shredded, whatever. And perhaps you have to lose 20, 30 pounds, get it done. You got time. The only thing that's gonna stop you is summer, drinking, partying, eating bad, and you know, just not doing what you're supposed to do. So don't let me win this time. <laughs> I love it. I love it. All right. Thank you, Byron, for everything, man. This is gonna be sick. This is exciting, right. brother. Thank you so much for your time. Of course, of course. Thank you.